y'all. So it's that time of year again, Valentine's Day. And I'm going to show you guys how I made this really beautiful, pretty, 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 pretty Valentine's Day cake. First thing you're gonna need is some cake mix. I make it simple. I'm not making this mess from scratch. Are you kidding? I need some cake pans, your favorite nonstick cooking spray, your favorite food coloring. I like to use Wilton gels, extracts if you like them, a whole lot of frosting, a whole lot of bowls, and some wax paper. This stuff makes getting the cakes out of the pan so much easier. All right, so y'all know how to read. Look on the back of the cooking box, or the cake box, and follow the instructions. And mixy, mixy, mixy. And add your extract if you like, or whatever special ingredients, yada, yada. I'm gonna go ahead and add my Wilton food gel. I used rose, pink, and red for these cake layers, but you can use whatever layers you want. I actually made a cake for my son's birthday party and it was the rainbow colors and I'll show you that at the end of this video. But anyway, I cut some circles out of the wax paper and uh, I heavily sprayed my nine inch cake pans with my nonstick cooking spray. And I go ahead and put in my first cake layer. After your cake layers are all done baking, I like to use this uh, really cool tool for my uh, cake layers to go ahead and level them out to make sure that they're all level because you don't want to lopsided a cake, honey, no, it's not cute. So after you level um, your cakes, you're gonna wanna go ahead and frost them. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a crumb coat on. And what a crumb coat is, is basically it's just a layer of frosting just to make sure that all the crumbs in your cake are, are, are not gonna get into the decorating or the decoration part. So you cover your cake liberally with frosting and uh, what you're gonna wanna do is let that set up in the refrigerator for a couple hours. And once that's done setting in the refrigerator, you can go ahead and start decorating. Now I got, you know, I used cream cheese frosting, it's my favorite flavor, whatever. I go ahead and put my uh, Wilton food dye and I mix it up. See, but the thing about it is, see what I didn't do was, I didn't let that frosting that I just made and put into that bag right there, set up in the fridge so it kind of was really warm and really melty <laughs> and it made kind of a mess and it kind of looked crazy but did that stop me no it didn't stop me i kept going because i'm a trooper man and uh whatever so as you can see um kind of got like a melting thing going on but it's cool because it's gonna come out really pretty See, I wasn't lying to you. Bam, baby. Yeah, we're just gonna uh, ignore that part right there. You know, don't even look at it. So if you have um, any extra fancy schmancy things you wanna do to the cake, now would be the perfect time to do it. I got these uh, pretty candy pearls and I you know, just slap them up there. And it's very elegant and it's very pretty and it's beautiful and it's wonderful. So now I'm going to go ahead and slice my Valentine's Day cake so we can all see the pretty layers that were made. And yes, it's very lovely. And it gradually gets darker at the bottom layers and it's beautiful. So thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys have a safe and happy Valentine's Day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.